Good morning, everyone. This is Ashish here. I am the Vice President for Customer Success at Rohans. Today, I will be covering um, some of the challenges which are facing in the current environment, uh, especially when people are working from home and how Rohans can help in, in this situation. Um, so without further ado, let me quickly jump into some of the challenges which we're seeing with some of our existing clients, uh, as well as what we are hearing from some of our uh, partners in the uh, industry. Uh, so as you know, I'm sure you will be able to relate to these, some of these challenges as I go through them. Uh, one of the key challenges which we're seeing is, uh, you know, how do I, you know, as a leader of the organization, measure the utilization levels of the team? They're working remotely. Some teams may be overutilized. Some team members may be underutilized. Uh, how do I even know and how can I measure that? It is a big challenge right now. Um, have people even reported for work is something which I'm not aware of. Uh, the second challenge which we are seeing is the security and compliance part of it, uh, where how do I know, um, you know, my teams are not ending up spending time on restricted sites um, or uh, spending a lot of time or uh, sharing information which could be confidential. Uh, so is there a mechanism to uh, have controls around some of these uh, security threats which may be there? The third element and a challenge which uh, we are seeing and hearing from our clients uh, and, and partners are that, uh, you know, there's clearly uh, an ask uh, or to find ways to remotely push work and also know the real-time status of those jobs. Uh, and that's where Prohans comes very handy and we'll talk about that. Uh, the fourth element is uh, again becoming very relevant uh, in, you know, uh, real estate is expensive. So are the softwares which are being used by the employees and their assets for the organization. And, and how do I use those assets optimally uh, is a big uh, driver. Uh, so that's something where Prohans can come into the picture. And I'll talk about that uh, in my subsequent videos. Uh, and then finally, uh, you know, as COVID-19 uh, has hit the, uh, the world, uh, people are working from home and unfortunately people are ending up working long hours and it's not good for their health. So how can, uh, you know, find, uh, how can I find a solution which can help them in, uh, you know, making sure that they're taking the breaks on time, they're not continuously sitting for long hours uh, is something which uh, we'll talk about uh, in our subsequent videos. For today's discussion, uh, and since it's a very short time period, I just want to give you a quick introduction to Prohance, uh, I'll walk you through what does Prohance offer as a capability uh, and then uh, make it real for you with a glimpse of some of the key dashboards which are available. Uh, so Prohance actually offers about six uh, uh, modules which are uh, key to the challenges which we just discussed. So first one is with the work time, uh, which covers the utilization. The second one is more focused around work output. So you can actually compare the work output against the work time. Uh, and you can look at it at any duration. You can look at it for a day, month, or a week. Uh, the third element is the advanced analytics, or the, uh, which actually helps in uh, doing long-term analysis. Uh, so let's say you want to compare data for last six months. You want to compare uh, different teams across different locations. You can do that through advanced analytics module. Um, and, and then, of course, uh, another module, which is the fourth one here, is the workflow, which is really powerful platform to allocate work remotely, uh, prioritize the jobs which are more critical to the organization, and then finally do a real-time management of those jobs. Uh, the fifth element is more IT focused, like you were talking about the software assets as well as uh, seats which are being used by the organization. So Prohens can help in uh, measuring the um, time and effort spent on some of these expensive licenses. Uh, or uh, even, you know, get a view around seat utilization. And finally, we talked about the challenge around uh, security and compliance, uh, and that's where uh, the screen capture module can be very helpful uh, in capturing what is happening on the uh, ground uh, when the user is using their machine. Uh, is there any confidential information which they're accessing? Uh, can I trigger a screenshot whenever they go on, let's say, for example, a personal email, uh, so those are things which are available in the screen capture. Um, without further ado, let me quickly show you a glimpse of Prohance, and then we'll cover all these modules in more detail. Uh, my focus is today to show you some dashboards which are available from a work from home point of view. Um, so the way Prohance works, of course, is, uh, you know, it'll capture the utilization levels, uh, and I, I will cover the functionality of how it gets to these metrics, but right now I just want to show you a quick glimpse of how it actually 
uh, shows the dashboards. So you can actually see there are 51 users in the month of September who have reported for work and their utilization is 115%. And I can actually compare that with different teams. So I can see four different teams. How are they looking like? And this could be, uh, you know, in, in various hierarchies, I could drill down uh, into each one of them and also get down to the individual level detail. Secondly, I can also do a, a quick view of uh, a current activity, uh, which means uh, if people are working from home, how many people have actually reported for work? So I can actually see it from here. There are 44 people right now who have reported for work uh, on, on Wednesday, 16th of September. And out of that, about 305 hours is the expected time, which I'm expecting uh, today based on the headcount. Uh, and this is configurable. Uh, and, and right now I've got about 12% of the productive time. So this is again very powerful for the manager to look at how many people are available today. Uh, and then I can actually see who are the people who are available. So the greens indicate they are, these are the people who are available. And it'll also show the logged hours against each one of them. So 40 people have reported for work, work uh, 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 and uh, you know 40 are active right now. So this is something which you can actually see uh, from here uh, for different teams, who, how many people are active. Uh, again, it becomes very powerful. Uh, one of the other dashboards which is very helpful in the work from home scenario uh, is how much work is happening out of home and how much work is happening out of office because you may have uh, partial teams coming into the office. And what is the average productive time from office versus home? So that is, again, you can uh, drill down into these reports and get a glimpse out of this. So this is just a quick uh, overview and a snapshot of work from home. Of course, there are multiple modules and I can cover these in more detail uh, uh, as a follow-up demo. But thank you for listening in today. I really appreciate your time and have a great day. Thank you. <laughs>